Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Campus Care Presents Panel Discussion. Panel Discussion is a platform where educators and leaders come on board and express their viewpoints on topics related to education and society. A topic for the day is project based learning and to express their viewpoints on the same we have with us Ms Deep Mala Ma'am Sadotra principal of St Paul's Public School Bihar a very warm welcome ma'am thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you so much ma'am for being here uh, then we have with us Ms Jayashree Venk Venkatra men i'm sorry ma'am could you pronounce your name for me yeah this is Jayashree Venkatra men thank you so much jayashree ma'am she is heading an snbp international school a very warm welcome ma'am thank you so much a pleasure to be here thank you ma'am for taking out your time and lastly we have with us dr rupa tyagi ma'am Dr. Rupa Rani Tyagi, ma'am, principal of Eklavya Public School, Mudra Nagar. A very warm welcome, Rupa, ma'am. Ma'am, you're on mute, actually. Thanks for inviting. May I come out a bit? No? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks for inviting. It's Murad Nagar, not Mudra Nagar. I am really sorry, ma'am. No, no, no. Need to say sorry. Actually, we don't. When we don't know the place, we are not able to pronounce it correctly. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, so, Rupa, ma'am, let's start off with you. Uh, Project-based learning and engaging the students in real-world problem-solving through hands-on experiences, ma'am. So, could you explain us what is a project-based learning and how exactly is it different from the traditional method of uh, learning, ma'am? That we, you know, uh, blackboard and the chalk system, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Mahak, Auntie Manta, for inviting us uh, for the panel discussion. As uh, the topic is here. project learning project based learning and the uh, traditional classroom what is the differentiation for first i would like to uh, talk about the project based learning actually the project based learning it is a methodology of uh, encouraging students for in hand experience or i should say learning by doing like uh, when we talk about uh, project based learning it is uh, more engaging and it is it should uh, come in a fruitful manner like the students they work on real world problem the problems they are uh, uh, they are facing or they may face in future so basically project based learning it is a culmination or combination of uh, collaboration of all the subjects i should say it's not for a particular subject like if we talk about science science itself is uh, nothing if we talk about math uh there is uh, communication skills we require english hindi whatever the language the students are uh, able to communicate with each other so project based learning it's a package actually it's a whole package of uh, for the students to learn to design and to deliver it and to solve the problem basically the society is having sometimes the family may have sometimes the schools may have sometimes they may have some problems in classroom so there is a way of thinking and they, they think about the problem that what is the problem they come to the solution with the projects on the basis of uh, the problem they come to the solution so it's a package of all the subjects uh, like we talk about the stem education now what like any people also talk about the skill development stem education like uh, science technology math and engineering they are collaborating all are collaborated for project based learning so basically project based learning it becomes a package to come out with the solution for the real world problems and when we talk about the traditional classroom teaching as we have also come to uh, this age after learning from the schools uh, we at that time even the smart board what is it the word was not in dictionary i think at that time this was not uh, in uh, communication that the smart classes smart boards uh smart lab so at the time we were just knowing about the blackboard and the chalk and the teachers they were teaching uh, with the help of that and only the methods the teachers uh, were using at that time 
they were the methods of uh, like reading writing and speaking sometimes so these slrw we were just talking about these speaking listening reading and writing these were the four things four skills we used to talk and we used to follow in traditional classrooms and even now also in the uh, where the schools they are not using this particular uh, stem education particular project based learning or uh, smart classes they are using this traditional method and the capacity of the students that is not coming out in these traditional classes because they are just recalling memorizing and writing so only doing uh, these things they cannot come to the solutions we have just the chapters and every talk about like i take the subject english or hindi the uh, things they are reading they are they are just reading and writing so the skill development which is uh, going on there that is only reading writing speaking and listening on these four skills which we used to talk, uh, used to talk about uh, before also and now also so uh, now this traditional classroom there is a high need this is a high time to come out from the tra traditional classroom because there are so many uh, problems and the children they are failed if they are not educated if they are not trained in such a way that how to deal with the real life problems they will not be able to survive in the world in this scenario so there becomes a need of project based learning that they learn how to tackle the problems how to come to the solutions so it is totally different when we talk about traditional classrooms and when we talk about uh, the uh, project based learning and the classes where this collaboration is done things i think i am done because uh, others may also give their views about it thank you so much rupa ma'am very beautifully explained what our project based learning is and how is it different from the you know traditional thank method you. of learning thank you so much ma'am um also i would uh, i would welcome uh, sir dr v manoharan sir principal of central public school tamil nadu very welcome sir sir could you please switch on your camera all right moving on uh, deep mala ma'am uh, rupa ma'am just explained us what a project based learning is and how is it different so ma'am moving on could you please uh, you know elaborate that how can this project based learning how is it you know going to help the students to develop uh, skills like problem solving skills critical thinking and collaboration ma'am sure uh, this is a beautiful question to uh, share my views see in our days no we have definitely learned with the chalk and talk method where um, we as the children might have felt distracted and in this uh, traditional method most of the times children remain engrossed with their thought process all right so in this new system where children are uh, you know using their uh, knowledge by experiencing directly all right then they are given chance to speak all right so in this way after following a proper cycle these children are given opportunities for uh, immersive hands on learning through activities team work then from team work they get work experience they work on various projects and solve various problems so in this way you know, they are following that experiential learning cycle where they are given a thought they think they act directly they choose their actions they use their mind they develop that critical thinking skill which is really required for a global citizens whatever we have learned in this period of time our children are getting prepared now only right off late we tried our hands on all these things but our learners are so fortunate to learn by experiencing themselves i i want to you know uh, explain it further with the example uh you remember uh, ma'am when children are taken to you know various expeditions tours picnics so there whatever you show to them no they can recall and speak on it rather than you know a learning uh, method where we used to give essays learn 
ओके नाउ नो अ चाइल्ड कैन डायरेक्टली वर्क ऑन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दैट ऑब्जेक्ट रूपा मैम बोल्ड दैट वी हैव स्मार्ट बोर्ड नाउ आर स्मार्ट चिल्ड्रन दे आर डिजाइन फॉर देयर क्लासरूम इन दिस मैनर वेर दे आर रेडी टू क्रिएट स्मार्ट बोर्ड्स we had been using calculators and now they are creating calculators so in this way we can well imagine that what intelligent children we are producing in the classroom by adopting this experiential learning where concepts are created teacher needs to only provide a concept where children work on it teacher plans a project and children have already that innovation in them they are given proper time for reflection and in this way no madam they can easily create reflect and then from their experiences only they recreate they don't have fear for failure yes. their classroom system is so vast for them that fear of failing is obsolete thing now children learn after failing then they use those experiences once again to regain and come successful that's all ma'am thank you so much ma'am very beautifully explained what project based learning is and how does you know these skills uh, how does these uh, develop skills like critical thinking and problem solving skills thank you ma'am over to you jayshree ma'am uh, rupa ma'am and deepmala ma'am uh, just explained us about project based learning firstly would you like to add something to them secondly ma'am could you help us understand that how these you know project based learning how is it you know helping the students to develop skills like critical thinking problem solving skills or collaboration ma'am thank you so much mahek for this opportunity uh, deepmala ma'am rupa ma'am it was indeed very very nice uh, getting to hear about your opinion uh, Let me correctly mention, my dear. When you talk about levels of learning, there is something called Bloom's taxonomy, which is an inverted pyramid. So we have been constantly teaching our children yes, skills of remembering and understanding. Okay, and that's precisely where the fallacy of education has been. I think we need to move on to more of skill-based learning. more of critical thinking collaborative skills you know uh, a team work and things like that so i think pbl as a system works exceedingly well because when you get into project based learning you are into a third level of learning which is applying first you first understand the problem and check as to how you can make a difference so first you design a prob solution to a problem develop it once you develop it you check the the team whether you are able to execute it and like i think what deepmala ma'am mentioned there is a good chance of it failing but then they are all the more determined to do better and again trying it out so i think the resilience an acceptance of failure is also seen as an amazing milestone achieved in this particular pbl uh i'll give you a small example where you know uh, we have been talking about the sustainable development goals there are 17 goals of which i particular felt responsible production and consumption can be a good goal uh to get highlighted uh, because i feel that this is a generation which unfortunately is provided with so much of abundance of resource that they don't value resource so i want for them to understand the value of resource so i just checked with them so this was one project that i tried in my school and i assure you it was exceedingly um, good and a major hit among our children so this was on responsible production consumption so again i had to further tone it down and i said let us try checking on the number of fountain pens uh, or rather number of ballpoint pens or sketch pens we use 
database was ready, our children went around asking, interviewing as to how many pens were used by children in a year. I have a strength of over 3,000 students studying between the classes 6 and 12 standard. So this 3,000 students gave a random figure of 5 to 8 pens they used every year. So then, what happens to those ballpoint pens? Was the next question. So this ballpoint pen is in the trash. And these pens are going to take at least 300 years to decompose. And even if it were to take 300 years to decompose, what happens to the soil where it has got decomposed? It's going to create a thin layer of plastic, which make, making the soil absolutely non-cultivable. So this was actually discovered by them. Children came up and telling me that yes, with 3,000 students, 6 pens of an average use, 18,000 pens, we are dumping it and we are going to create a garbage for 300 years to decompose. So it was all their finding. And so, okay, I said, fine. So what is the solution? Can you imagine what solution they came up with? They came up with a solution of introducing fountain money. They said, why don't we go back to our fountain money? And you find me using fountain pen today also because of the recommendation given by our students that moving back to our old times is what is going to, I mean, it's not about saving on that. It is also about bringing in an awareness. Yes, we were, again, there were problems. The problems were parents had to say, you are going to stay in your pockets of carrying a fountain when we have done it. So our children actually responded, the children who were part of this research, they said, what is more important? Staining, don't you think staining a shirt is much better than staining the earth? So what happened? They understood the communication skills. I mean, their communication skills were better. They collaborated. They were absolutely okay to hearing people telling them it is all nonsense, it didn't make sense. But I think overall it was an amazing success and uh, I, I personally felt that there was so much of learning. Uh, not only children were able to apply, they were able to reinvent our old fountain when it was then that we checked with our stationery vendor whether we continue to provide ink because you know it's a long lost uh, tool so we wanted to check with our vendor whether he had enough ink pots to supply to our school again that was done by our own children so mega i hope i have answered your question Thank you so much, ma'am. Very beautifully explained. Staining a shirt is better than staining the earth. It is, uh, you know, very innovative and it is very wonderful that the students of your school have this kind of, uh, you know, <coughs> mindset. Thank you so much, ma'am. Jeshri, ma'am. Um, so, Suresh, sir, uh, am I audible to you, sir? Yes, yes. Now, uh, due to some disturbances, I, it was not audible as my... Now it is connecting man. And I my voice is audible to you. Yes, sir. You are perfectly audible. Also, could you, you know, place your camera somewhere in front of you? Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Mr. Sur Suresh Roy, sir, principal of BS Public School, Uttar Pradesh. Very welcome again, sir. So we were just, you know, Deepmala ma'am, Jayshri ma'am and Rupa ma'am. We were just having a discussion about project-based learning and what it is. So, sir, uh, coming back to, you know, the topic and um, let's, you know, let's, what, what are some of the best practices, sir, when it comes to, you know, project-based learning to design an effective project-based learning experiences, sir, in your opinion? Yes, yes. Uh, very good, ma'am. Uh, 
good afternoon everyone and i take this opportunity to give this platform to deliver my uh, some views and experiences thanks a lot of ma'am so best practices as first of all we all know learning is the main part of our education and every time it raises the questions what are the outcome learning how the student learn the things more and effective learning how it possible in the classroom and outside of the classroom so so far as my experience as a uh, teacher as a student of the uh, science i feel project based learning is the best and effective learning for the students it keeps student in the depth learning and point out the real observation reflection and reasoning each and everything comes and it demonstrate the real capability of the student what are the hidden potential that comes out by this uh, project based learning let us see the simple example if we are the taking class and we are taking a topic suppose machine or a lever if we describe the different lever but a student can not understand easily but if they make the lever if they make the project of lever where will be fulcrum where will be the effect where will be the force applied then their learning will be the uh, persist in their mind and it will be the more effective learning only passive learning in the classroom or the by lecture or the by board it is not enough in respect of the 21st century because pro and one thing the project based learning develop the skill particularly the thinking skill problem solving as well as their effective communication which is the need of the time so so far uh, you have asked the question what would be the best practice in this respect say idea development and the forming the framing the some ideas about learning peer group self assessment all are the best practices that can be implemented for the project based learning and one thing i would like to share with you investigatory project generally project we make in the schools stereotyped are the investigatory project investigatory project is the real connecting to the life world we connect to the words to students from school to the outside by investigatory project so so i think this will be the very effective learning process in a school and for the future demand and it is the developing students those student are making project they have a skill they develop a skill together they engage in the class and they exchange their views many things they can do by this way so so i think it is the better better things in the teaching in the learning process absolutely sir thank you so much suresh sir now before we uh, move forward uh, i would you know like the audience and also uh, you educators to uh, watch a video hmm. next you asked what you are asking ma'am just just a second sir i'm just showing you a video Thank you. 
so much ma'am then sir now moving forward uh, to the project based learning uh, deepmala ma'am how can you know the teachers how can the educators how can they assess and manage the project based learning projects ma'am yeah ma'am while uh, you were showing this video only one thing was going on in my you might have heard that you tell me i forget you show me i may remember you involve me i will remember forever i will never forget so you have uh, you know shown various videos beautiful videos uh, let me take example you were showing some gravitational uh, pull forces then some uh, cell cell structure uh, in another video some uh, you know um, animated version was shown where pulse was felt okay so there were various videos and in our daily teaching learning process as a child uh, we uh, as a child i am taking myself as a child i might have shown and uh, you know gone through various uh, teaching learning opportunities but until and unless i am involved into it i will not understand why not to you know create these things when children will start preparing softwares on their own then le real learning happens in the classroom and this is project based learning only telling them to make project that means we are implementing and forcing them to think in our manner yes. so what i believe strongly believe that experiential learning is given open opportunity to all the learners where they are given open house to choose they can speak their mind they can work according to uh, their mind and then they enact so these smart boards and other things no they are into process we are learning with all these things but now additional thing is that children are trying on these activities themselves how a uh, gravitational pull what kind of uh, you know newton's law whatever they have learned in book they are using it like under microscope ready made slides and uh, such type of learning is very easy but now children are creating uh, slides and they can observe them themselves okay they can uh, show it to others they can share their feeling their emotion their psychology and then they come into next level they uh, you know climb up the next step so experiential learning and project based learning are complementing with each other 
where projects are created by children at their base because same size does not fit to all so in this learning process i would only say children comes up as a winner where teacher remains a facilitator to give them a thought process where teacher is organized and learning takes place without fear thank you absolutely ma'am thank you so much ma'am very beautifully explained uh, rupa ma'am would you like to add something to ma'am ma'am you are on mute actually Uh, sorry rupa ma'am you are on mute abhi bhi hi yes ma'am so uh, i want to uh, add one more thing uh, not add actually ma'am has already uh, cleared the thing the thing is learning by doing it becomes like a practical it becomes an experience because sometimes when we say you have to make a cup of tea and you have to write it on paper how to make a cup of tea you can listen it from your mother that you have to make a cup of tea you need all these items and the this will be the sequence you have to add the ingredients in that and the cup of tea is ready but when when you go into the kitchen and you just start it you let it you uh, use the lighter you just uh, uh, take a pan you take the water from uh, either you have to take the water from the tap or you have to take the water from the uh, purifier so that becomes an experience means you are learning by doing it is making tea you may make a tea or annotation on the paper but once you go into the kitchen and you make it that becomes an experience so experience is experiential learning or learning by doing this is the important part for today's scenario in today's classrooms because if you are able to if you are able to experience if you are able to practice you cannot forget it once you have done anything and uh, this becomes like uh, we take the examples from day to day life uh, we take the examples from day to day life like from uh, since morning till night we do a lot of things in our homes as well or if we talk about in classroom also the children and the teachers they do a lot of things but the way how you think it means just you have take the books or you have the notebooks from the class and you are going downstairs and you are keeping them on the table there may be some rules from the science there may be some uh, way of your personality is how you are walking that becomes an experience so everything we do the way the perspective we think the perspective we do and we the thought process as mam has said that becomes an experience so everything we do that may have something but only doing just saying something and doing something that is totally different so experiential learning that becomes the most important part for uh, today's world absolutely rupa mam thank you so much uh, jay shri mam over to you firstly would you like to add something to rupa mam and deep mala mam and also mam could you you know uh, as just rupa mam mentioned the you know making of a tea as an example could you also give us some real world problems that you know students can tackle through project based learning mam yeah, mam so actually when uh, rupa mam was explaining about tea making i was reminded of master chef uh, competitions you know like uh, basically i think the chefs know how it is to be done but on that particular day something goes wrong and how they are able to kind of come out of it or what is the strategy they adopted to kind of uh, ensure that the final product is taken care of right i i think that is where the learning actually is and and, uh, and, I, and i think your question was also about how to Uh, orient our teachers to accepting project based learning because it's so easy to correct a pen paper test and it is so difficult to understand the project yes ma'am so i think teachers should be oriented not to only check the product i think the teachers should be part of the process because the process itself is so so Of enriching with experiences, something can actually go wrong, 
the walk. I mean, the milk that you added for some reason uh, is not uh, fresh. What do I do then? Do I abandon the process of making tea or do I try another cup and check whether possibly the vessel was cleaned, yes. which led to the milk uh, getting spoiled or the tea getting <coughs> Can I try another? So when does all that happen? The fermentation, combinations. I think children learn it amazingly well when you get them to do hands-on. I would give an uh, example, and, and it actually is so non-threatening because it is basically what is happening. It is assessment for learning. Yeah. It is not assessment of learning. When you do a pen paper test, you are assessing them all about all that they have learned. But when you are doing a project-based learning, it is assessment for learning because even while you are learning, you are getting assessed. Because every step that you take is a process of learning. It is a process of evolving. It's almost like, um, even, um, let me give an example of the way you get trained uh, to drive a car. The trainer in the car, every day he is actually just sitting beside you and he is telling you that this, you have to reach here. He is just helping you maneuver, but he ensures. Do we find that learning threatening? Why are children afraid of tests? Why do they copy? The reason they copy is because they are afraid of failures. So I think project-based learning is, I think, the key to the best assessments ever and the best training ever. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Very uh, wonderfully explained. Uh, Suresh, sir, would you like to add something to Jayashree, ma'am? Could you give us some, uh, you know, examples of real world yeah. problems that, you know, students can tackle through project-based learning, sir? Thank you, madam. Uh, with addition of all these, uh, I would like to share, as a teacher's, uh, it must uh, put the real, uh, uh, they have to create the environment to engage all, stu uh, all students to do their project. They should, they are facilitator of the project and they allow to them independently work and they generate the class room studies and uh, they can formatively assess them. They can celebrate uh, the achievement of this project-based learning. So, so teachers can manage in well way, and uh, it would would it be it would better for uh, project-based learning. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Deep Mala, ma'am, over to you. Would you like to uh, give us some, you know, examples of uh, real world problems that, you know, students can tackle through project based learning, ma'am? Sure, ma'am. See, when Sir was saying that to uh, create that atmosphere, uh, very rightly said, Sir, uh, in the video, uh, when I am recalling, I had uh, watched magnetic effect. Why not to give opportunity and create such atmosphere in the class where children know how to create earthquake resistant buildings? When we are talking about making tea or uh, nutrition on their plate, why not to tell them to create a plate? You know, uh, when they are involved, they will never forget. And see, every now and then we are talking about uh, global warming, global uh, warming effects. So, should not we give one thought process to work on soil erosion, grow some food, uh, then, uh, you know, after growing uh, food, if some crop is spoiled, whatever organic farming they perform in the school uh, or maybe at home, then they discuss their ideas, all right? And while discussion only, they get that confidence to perform further. Ma'am had given example that if milk is uh, spilled or milk is not fresh, will they stop making tea? 
but here in experiential learning such type of uh, you know atmosphere uh, is created in the classroom where children look for another option they grow more innovative and their brain development grows fast and in this way you no know, uh, teaching learning happens in that um, rote learning method where teacher uh, used to remain active and children passive so it was not clearly giving feedback if learning had happened all right but in this project based learning where madam has also added i am not naming all the uh, you know uh, speakers because i am little forget uh, forgetful to remember names but i am taking their ideas what we shared with each other uh, they said um, when we are giving them opportunity they try their hands on and they remember it for their lifetime perfect to say that they can create cities they can create buildings they can create different models and whatever they are doing without fear of failing they come out successfully and even if they are not successful at the first level at the first stage then definitely they try it next time where we are not cribbed where we are not judged beforehand all right so such type of um atmosphere which suresh sir said should be created and given to the children so that their all round development is uh, made performed and they are groomed well so there are various activities uh, getting uh, clean water how water purifier works why not to create a cooler when you feel warm and these things are happening in the classrooms where teacher remains passive but they become close observers they guide children appropriately at appropriate time to appreciate them so that they are not backing showing their back they are not feeling defeated so experiential learning is confidence building a scenario as well where children know to use their collaborative approach and hit the target thank you thank you very wonderfully explained deepmala ma'am thank you so much thank you so much educators thank you so much rupa ma'am thank you so much jayshree ma'am suresh sir and deepmala ma'am it was wonderful having you here on board and listening to your experiences and viewpoints thank you ma'am thank you for the thank you. nice invitation Thanks a lot of thanks to all ma'am. Thank, Thank you ma'am. Everyone, Deepala ma'am, Joshna ma'am and uh, Dito. Uh, let's see you was uh, really a uh, great experience for you. Thank you everyone. Thank you Jai Shri Ram thank you everyone and for all the viewers watching us out do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more stuff like this. Thank you ma'am and sir have a nice day. Thanks man thanks Good a lot evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bye bye. Yes. Bye.